Charlie Trippi passed away today at 100. He was the second oldest ever living Hall of Famer. And it all started at the University of Georgia. Only one Georgia Bulldog can claim the title, Rose Bowl's most valuable player. That's not up to me to make that choice. Charlie Trippi left no room for doubt, playing 58 minutes in a 9-0 Georgia win over UCLA. Well, the Rose Bowl game was an event that occurs once in a lifetime. I'm very grateful that I had an opportunity to play in that game. He was the number one draft pick for the Chicago Cardinals to keep him away from the new All-America Football Conference. Cardinals owner and future Hall of Famer Charles Bidwell paid Trippy $100,000 to join what later became the first ever million dollar backfield. The post-World War II Cardinals, then in Chicago, were building a solid team around the T-formation coached by Hall of Famer Jimmy Councilman. Quarterback Paul Chrisman was running the offense and had a pair of go-to runners in fullback Pat Harder and halfback Elmer Angsman. Team owner and Pro Football Hall of Fame enshrinee Charles Bidwell was committed to making the Cardinals a champion for the first time since 1925. He put the final piece into what earned the moniker Million Dollar Backfield when he spent $100,000 to sign University of Georgia star Charlie Trippi to a multi-year deal. Bidwell had to outmatch the competition of the then-rival All-America Football Conference to get Trippi into the fold. It was a brilliant move that paid off instantly. Charles Bidwell passed away before he could ever see his vision come true when the 1947 Cardinals beat the Philadelphia Eagles for their last, to date, NFL championship. Yet despite the franchise's extended drought, 86-year-old Charlie Trippi remembers that victorious title game well. In 1947, Trippi was a star rookie with the Chicago Cardinals before going on to a nine-year Hall of Fame career. At 6 feet and 190 pounds, Trippi played multiple positions while leading the Cardinals past the Philadelphia Eagles 28-21 on a bitterly cold day in Chicago. The biggest memory I have back then, it was a cold day. The field was frozen. We played with tennis shoes. So did the Eagles, but at first they walked out of the field at Comiskey Park wearing spikes. They came out and, to warm up and they were falling all over the place eh, because uh, the cleats would not stick into the frozen turf. In winning the championship, Chicago engineered four touchdowns, with Trippi scoring on a 44-yard one and a 75-yard punt return. While the Cardinals celebrated their win that day, their rings for the championship would arrive later, much later. We had a reunion, a 50-year reunion up in Chicago, and they presented us with our championship ring. That interview was when Charlie was 87. A decade later, he was still going strong, talking about the trip to the Rose Bowl and getting his K Ring of Excellence from President David Baker. That was quite quite an event because you hear about a lot of those people and see them on the screen and then here you are right with them and that was a great thrill. A big hand for number 62, Charlie Trippi. college national champion, Maxwell Award winner, World War II veteran, NFL championship, college and pro football Hall of Famer, Charlie Trippi celebrated excellence everywhere.